Yeah. And today we are making the circuit flower, flower pots. Juliet, do you love the springtime? Yes. Yes. One of our favorite things to do in the springtime is planting flowers, yes. isn't it? So today we have a mini flower pot where we are going to plant, not really, a circuit flower, okay? Does that sound like something you wanna do? Yeah. Okay, let's see what's in our kit today. Two coffee filter, a pipette, and two markers, and a pipe cleaner, two mounting squares, a button battery, LED, and a mini flower pot. Wow, that's a lot of stuff we have today. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, on top of everything you have in your kit, you'll just need a little bit of water, and then we're ready to get started. <laughs> okay, Juliet, we are going to be learning two concepts today that are really important. One is about color blending, okay? So we have two colors, and how are we gonna get these to blend on our coffee filter? The water. How did you know? You're so <laughs> smart. Yes, the water is going to blend the two colors together doing a color mixing effect that's going to look very beautiful and very organic. Organic is when something happens in nature. Nothing is perfect in nature, just like nothing's perfect here that we do at the Winkle, right? Okay, so should we see what organic pattern we can make on our coffee filter? Yeah. Okay. Okay, take your first coffee filter and lay it as flat as you can on the table. All right, take one of your colors. How do you do yellow? Yeah, you're, you can do yellow. How do I do it? You can color any way you want on your coffee filter, but leave space for your other color. And this can just be like scribbles. It doesn't have to be pretty. You're not coloring a picture. You're just kind of putting color on your coffee filter, okay? Kids, if at any time when I'm giving you instructions, if, you, if I get ahead of you, you can always pause the video and catch up to us, and then you can press play. So don't ever get frustrated. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video. See, we don't really need to color in the middle because our flower is going to be kind of like this. Okay, our flower is going to be like this in our pot. So it doesn't really matter if you color the middle of your coffee filter because that's not really going to show. So you do really want to color those edges though because you can see that's the part that's going to show the most. Okay, so I see how I left some room for my purple. Now I'm going to go in with and my And I purple. left some room for my pink. Good. Guess what? I like to scribble. You like to scribble? <laughs> yeah, that's just like scribbling. And it doesn't even matter if you scribble. It doesn't. This is a free pass to scribbling. You can scribble all you want. <laughs> okay, this part we get to use our pipette. Now pipettes are used a lot in science and we are going to use them today to drop water onto our coffee filter. Okay, first you're going to squeeze this part at the top Put it in your water, then let go, and see how the water comes up? Mm. Isn't that neat? You give it a try. Squeeze the top, then put it in your water, then let go, nope, keep it in the water, then let go of the top. There, see how you have to keep it in the water when you unsqueeze it. Okay. That's okay, cool. now we're gonna just put little drops of it on our coffee filter, and see how those colors are starting to blend? That blended in really that good. sure did. Okay, while it's drying, we're going to set it aside and we're going to color our next coffee filter. Mm. 
Now you can set your coffee filters and your water and pipette aside. Now we're going to make the circuit part of our circuit flower pot. Inside, hold on. The inside of our flower is going to be where our LED is. Do you know what this does, this LED? No. Oh, it lights up. Yes, it lights up. This stands for, LED stands for light emitting diode. Those are a lot of big words. It pretty much just means that this will give light. It's a diode, meaning there's a flow of energy that goes through it. But in order for the energy to flow through this, it needs to be connected to an energy source. So what energy source do we have in here? The pipe cleaner? Mm. No. no. The mounting squares? No. No. What's this? I I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> this is a battery. This battery has energy in it. So if we put it on our LED the right way, is that the right way? No. No, because it's not lighting up. Can you put it the other way? Yes, that lights up. So the way Can that. I try? Yes. Can we go that way? Okay. No. That way. <gasps> it's lighting up. That's awesome. Okay, so the way this is working is this has two leads on it. Do you see those two leads? Yep. You see those two leads? There's a short lead and a long lead. And if the short lead is on the negative side of the battery, that's the battery side that has all this texture on it. If the short lead's on that negative side of the battery, then the long lead is on the positive side of that battery. And then there's a constant flow of energy. So the long lead goes, the plus side of the battery gives energy to the long lead that goes into the light. And the light emitting diode lights up. And then the energy comes back down through the short lead back into the battery. And then that keeps going. And that's what a circuit is. Yep. It's a circuit of energy. So let's okay, so once it's lit up, we're going to lay it flat down on your table and you're going to take just one side of your mounting square paper, take that off, and press it down. Make sure to sandwich that lead from your, from your LED. See the lead is down in there and it's making a sandwich with your battery and your mounting square. And you're gonna turn it over. Do the same thing on the other side. Just take one side of your mounting square off, press it down on your LED. Once you have that put together, you have made a circuit, a constant flow of energy. Good job. Okay, Juliet, the next part is just for decoration, but we're gonna take our little piece of pipe cleaner that we have, and we're going to twist it around your battery and you're gonna twist it tight. There's a wire inside that pipe cleaner. So you're gonna twist it nice and tight a couple of times around, just like that. Can you do it? Okay. Oh, you did it! And then you're just going to bring it up because these are going to be the stamen of our flowers, which means the middle of our flower. Okay, so now we have our coffee filters back and you wanna to wait to do these until they're Almost dry, but not all the way dry. So this is perfect right here. So we can put this on? Not yet, nope. We're gonna lay them on top of each other like this, and then we are going to try and find the middle. The, mid the way you find the middle of a circle is if you pinch and all the edges line up, then you know you have the middle. Pinch. If you don't line up the, the sides, then you've gotta try your pinch again. Let's see. I can't. Pinch the middle and let it ruffle like that. Okay, so pinch the middle. Okay. Nope, right there on top. Pinch it and turn it over. Yeah, and then you kind of fluff it up like this with your other hand. <gasps> Do you see how pretty that looks? Okay, so you're gonna put it in your flower pot just like that. Yes. Oh my goodness, it looks like a rose. It's so pretty. Now you can fluff it out if you want. Why do we need this? I'll show you in a second. You can fluff it out. Yours looks so pretty just how it is, but if you wanna fluff it out like I'm doing, 
And now we're going to put the middle in, the middle of the flower. Oh, wow. That looks so pretty. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who are you going to give yours to? I'm uh, Grammy. Oh. Mommy's, I mean, he, you can give it to your mom and I can give mine to Dad's mom. Oh, that would be lovely. So both grandmas will get one? They mm -hmm. will love it. Did you have fun making your simple circuit flower yeah. today? Yeah. I did too. I love how they light up. They're so pretty. Mine looks like a beautiful rose. It does. Julia and I are done for the day, but we want to see how your project turned out. Have a grown-up take a picture and post it on social media and tag at the Winkle Crate. That way we'll be able to see your creation and you'll be able to see everybody else's creations too. Cheers! Cheers! Yay. Bye everybody! Bye! Have fun! Good luck! I love you! <laughs>